forever by virtual. All right. Hello, hello, Game Stone Quick. My name is Virtual. I'm joining you guys from Norway tonight, and I'm going to be playing some Track Mania for you. So uh, before we start the run here, we had a donation incentive about the car skin we're going to be using. So how are we looking on that? We do, and it looks like, let me just do a quick refresh. USA is in the lead. All right, United States. So yeah, then we're going to start to run here. Uh, just gonna do a quick countdown and three, two, one, let's go. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trackmania Nations Forever. This is an arcade racing game released in 2008. This game has 65 tracks and in this category, the all tracks no EO5 category, we're playing through 64 of them. The reason that we don't play one of them, namely EO5, is because the track is one hour long, it has 60 laps, and you're just driving around in circles for an hour. So that is not very entertaining to watch or very fun to play. So we have a category that excludes it. Now, this is an arcade racing game, as I said. That means that there are uh, there's no real story in the game. All you do is you drive through the tracks, you uh, play them as fast as you can, and you collect some medals while doing it. Every track has four metal times that you can beat. There is the bronze metal time, the silver, the gold, and then the author metal. And they're all in varying degrees of difficulty, but usually you want to get the author metal, that's the fastest one. Though there's no real requirement for how many you end up getting. The game starts out pretty easy here with the first tracks. They are very uh, fundamental stuff, like a few jumps and turns, but you gotta learn that at some point. So uh, why not in the beginning of the game? So Trackmania, it's uh, it's known for its craziness, so there's going to be some very challenging tracks later on. We have AO4 Acrobatic here, this track only has one jump, but you know, when you're starting out, it can be, it can be tricky. This game has uh, three different surfaces, we have road, and then we also have dirt here and grass. On dirt, the car handles a bit differently than on road, so we want to be uh, steering very softly when we're on dirt, when we're tapping, and not steering too much as that loses speed on dirt. So just try to slide the car as little as we can through the turns. And we're going to uh, introduce some more mechanics here. On AO6, we have the air brake. This is one of the most essential tricks in the game, where what we do is we uh, tap the brake mid-air. And what that does is it stops the car's rotation. If you look at it, you can see it kind of just locks mid-air, and it lets us land very flat. And doing that on all these jumps here, it's gonna gain us a lot of time. There is one exception though, and that is this final jump where we're gonna intentionally not do it, land with the nose down before this obstacle so we can more easily pass it and uh, clear the final jump on the track here. 806 done. So air brake, it is one of the most essential things. You're gonna be seeing it a lot through the run. And one more thing that you're gonna be seeing a lot is uh, what we're gonna be doing here on 807, and that is drifting. So when we have a very sharp turn, I can just steer into it, hold the brake down, and the car will do a slide. That lets us pass these uh, very sharp corners with a lot of speed, and it's going to save time on basically most of the maps. So air braking and drifting is like the, the bread and butter of the game. We do them everywhere we can, and it ends up saving many, many seconds on some tracks. Now we have AO8. This is the first endurance track. So I can talk a bit about the track styles. There are uh, five different track styles in this game. There is race, which is just your normal race track. Then you have speed. Those tracks go a bit faster, generally. Then you have endurance here, which is usually multi-laps, where you have to be more consistent and not make many mistakes. And then we have obstacle and acrobatic, which are coming up later, that are really the difficult tracks in the run, uh, stunting tracks. So uh, if we have any donations here, this is a pretty good time because uh, we're just driving in circles at this point. Absolutely, so, uh, we do. <laughs> Thank you so much. We have $25 from next underscore TM. Let's go, you've got this and don't pull a virtual now. <laughs> <laughs> we have $10 yeah. from Link in Nito. Hey, virtual, glad to see you representing the track media community at GDQ with a great run. And reminder, don't pull a virtual, work smile. I, I guess I'm gonna have to explain this right off the bat here. So um, yeah, I stream on Twitch and my community has this uh, one inside joke about pulling a virtual where uh, they insist that 
pulling a virtual means to uh, to choke a good run while I'm sort of insisting on that it's uh, it's clutching a run so we have some disputes about the definition there uh, we'll see if I end up pulling some virtuals or not this time but uh, thank you guys for the donations it's uh, nice to see some uh, people already reaching out so here we have AO9 done a small shortcut at the end there over the water that is uh, just a, a little taste of what's coming up later now on A10 here, if you see that one hole in the platform in the distance, we're gonna have to jump through. And if we release the acceleration here at a good timing, we can just ooh, just barely make it into the finish without uh, hitting anything else. That was pretty close to failing, but we got through, so that's good. And now we have A11 here. So again, some more dirt. And on dirt, it is pretty important to watch out for the gears on the car. So the Trackmania car, it has an automatic gear transmission. Uh, which is fairly nice we don't need to think about it but we don't want to be steering when the car is about to shift gears so in that one turn there i was very conscious about trying to uh, avoid steering as the car was shifting the gears so that we didn't lose time on a12 here there is an absolutely stunning shortcut that i sadly cannot do in the speed run it is a bit too too lucky uh, and uh, hopefully if the donation center that we have the shortcut showcase is met then uh, I'll get to show that off later. Uh, how are we actually doing on that, the, the shortcut showcase? We are about $6,800 away, and I am super, super hoping that gets met, because I would Ooh, love 6, to see that. 6800 I think that is within reach. We'll see. I can do one shortcut here that is safe for the run, but basically in Trek Mania, there are a lot of shortcuts that uh, players have spent hundreds of hours of going for just to get it once, and... I'd love to show some of them off. Here though, on A13, we're going to try to climb the wall, drop down to the finish platform here, and basically skip the entire second half of the map. We got that really well, so uh, that is good. Get off to a great start here with uh, A13 done. A14 here, this has a small shortcut, but one that I have failed in the past, so let's, uh, let's try to get cleanly through this. We're going to jump out just a bit to the left here, and with that, we can skip this one turn and then rejoin the track and cruise into the finish. Just like so. So now we have one track left in the white series. That is A15 speed. The tracks are segmented into uh, sections of 15 tracks at a time. So the white tracks, they're kind of your beginner tracks. Then you have the green tracks, the blue tracks, red tracks. And finally, you have five black tracks, which are like the elite five of the game we'll get to that some of them are pretty exciting so just a few more turns here and then we'll get on to the green series just like that great okay b01 so the tracks do get progressively more difficult one of the ways that they do get more progressively difficult is by adding new blocks that you haven't driven on and also usually they're faster so b1 here you're going to see a bit of a, a weird uphill with some challenging turns and also very high speed that is uh, the, the main theme so uh for now we're fine but the the later tracks they are yeah we'll we'll, we'll see how they go the bo2 race here this is one of uh, my favorite tracks in the campaign it is very, very technical. So here we get to use drift, we get to use an air brake. And um, I can mention that Trek Mania, it is um, not a game a lot of people speed run. Uh, not a lot of people do full game runs of, of Trek Mania, but there is a lot of competition in the game on every single map here to uh, hold the world record where players have, as I said, spent hundreds of hours of one shortcut and also just grinding down tracks without shortcuts for the perfect run so each one of these world records on the tracks here are incredibly optimized and it's only the last few years that we got the idea to uh to put together a full speed run of the tracks so uh in some ways we're i'm kind of lucky now that the uh the game Sun quick event is hosted online uh so i get to attend and i'm i'm hoping to make a good good showing here of this game it's uh a game i've been playing since my childhood so uh it's fun to be able to show this off to a, a big audience, so yeah. B04 Acrobatic, one of the first acrobatic tracks. Here you can see a wall ride for the first time and a bit of a taste of what this, this game has to offer. 
here we can drive on walls just fine and get into the finish now we're on to bo5 and uh many of these tracks in the green series they are um quite basic they um they, they have the same turns and the same jumps and the same uh, tricks that you have to do usually. It's air brakes and drifts. But they're all very, very nice to play. Like, even after 12 years that this game has been out, they still feel very refreshing to play. So, a small touch on the wall there, we're fine. So, they have really done a good job with, uh, with these track designs. EO6 obstacle, if you look to your left, you'll see a huge downhill and a small gap. That we're gonna have to jump through this is one of the uh trickier jumps in the game so uh with long jumps a small misalignment has huge consequences so we're gonna have to try to get this uh pretty precise to uh to land cleanly in this downhill that does look good barely underneath the sign and uh we'll take that all the way to the finish eo7 race we have one more track and then if we have any more donations, they will be perfect to read up on the next endurance track. So uh, let's get through BO7 here. This is one of the uh, tracks in the campaign to use grass. So I mentioned there were three surfaces. We're driving on road or platform right now. And then you have dirt and grass. And on grass, the same principles as on dirt apply. We want to be steering as little as possible. So to do that here, we're going to start out really wide, then just softly tap the, uh, the steering all the way through the turn and it looks like we'll get a 29 26 that's a pretty good time all right b08 endurance this track has five laps and on the first lap it's kind of slow but then it goes very very fast and there's one turn just inside this house right here that has a warning sign for good reason you're gonna see it later on uh, this is a place we need to be careful or uh, else we might end up straight on the wall but, Nicole, if we have any more donations, this is a very good time to read them up. So, uh, go right ahead. We sure do. Thank you so much. We have a $5 donation from Lena Boekwarm. Oh, shortcuts. I love shortcuts. Can we get a $5 donation train for this? And that being said, we actually have jumped quite a bit. We are now $6,256 away Ooh. from the shortcase show cut. So, we are show cut showcase. So, we are getting up there. We have I a, think it might be possible. I really hope it is. I think we can do it. We have a $30 donation from Barchild. Speed this along so we can see some shortcuts. Track Mania height. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn people... crazy if we reach that. That would be uh, insane. That would be amazing. We have a $50 donation from R2-JL. This game is great and I need to see those shortcuts. Let's get it done. Wow. Thank you guys all for the donations. Thank you for supporting such a great cause here and the event. We are on the uh, last lap here of BO8. I've just been uh, trying to save it through that, that one warning sign turn and we got through all five times here. So that is, we can't really ask for more than that on BO8 here and we're gonna go right on. Now on BO9 here, this is a, uh, another fundamental thing in Track Mania where time spent in the air is time spent not accelerating on the ground. So. On these transitions here, we want to reduce airtime and go as low across each transition as we can. That will uh, gain us the most speed here. So uh, you're going to see that a lot. All the tricks we do in Track Mania is either try to land flat, try to get a turn good, or try to reduce airtime. So for example, here we can jump a bit diagonally. That is going to let us land a bit smoother in that downhill. And those kinds of things, they, they do add up over time. So uh, yeah, just, just fine micro improvements on every map. At the end of this track, there is a bit of a risky strategy we can do. Um, you have a lot of speed and there is a big jump. And if you go, you can't really see where you land, but we're gonna try to land on the road that we can't see anyways. And that looks pretty good. Just get through the gap. All right. So far things are going good here. I'm, I'm kind of scared. This is going a bit too well right now. A lot of this stuff I had practiced uh, preparing for this and it didn't go that well, so it's good to, uh, to get it live here. B11, this track is not really uh, one of the most liked in the campaign. As a kid, if you play this game, you might know what's uh, coming up behind this dirt mountain, but 
Yeah, a lot of cacti here. And if you don't know the line, getting through and past these cacti, it can be difficult. Now, knowing the, the optimal line, it's no problem, but as a kid myself, I struggled a lot getting, getting past that. Crashing every time. B12, this is another grass map. And here we also have water edges that have the same grip as road. So what that means is that driving over them will uh, be faster than driving on grass. We're gonna do it once more at the ending. For now, we're just gonna build up speed over this long platform stretch here. And uh, yeah, we could do we could do a little shortcut at the end of this track. It is uh, it doesn't save too much. It saves like half a second, but it is uh, probably good to do anyways. We're gonna go far out on the turn here so we can accelerate in towards it on grass. That's the best approach. And then if we go precisely here to the side of that pole, oh, oh. ah, <laughs> okay. So half a second, maybe it wasn't worth it. We'll, we'll take that one. All right. Unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay. So maybe that was the virtual pulled finally. B13 here. This is the first track with loops in the game. Loops there, they, they look pretty scary. They're kind of easy to drive through. You just try to go as straight as possible so that the car isn't losing any grip upside down. It's just going uh, as fast through as possible. And the same applies for these corkscrew loops that go diagonal. You just want to stay in the middle, stay as far away from the sides. You can avoid crashing uh, and other bad things happening. And we're going to take that. Now, B14 speed. I'm actually, again, curious how we are doing on the uh, incentive. If we've gotten any more donations, feel free to read them up. I think it would be amazing if we, uh, if we hit this. I think it would be amazing too. We actually now only need $5,261. We have jumped quite <laughs> a bit. It's going fast. Um, we it's have, going fast. It's going real fast. I'm super excited. We have a $5 donation from Racer, Track Mania fan here. Here's a dollar train for the Shortcut Showcase. And we have $20 from Wyatt Hamilton. One of she shortcuts in the Track Mania run. Can I get some hype? Nice little haiku there. Yeah. Do you have time for one more? Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. All Oops. right, we have 25 from Effrontery, Trackmania, and Virtual Fan. Good luck on EO2. And for those not familiar with this game, I highly recommend donating for the Shortcut Showcase. Me too. We exactly. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Keep going. Keep we going. now only need $4,531. We are just jumping up Whoa. big time. I really, really Whoa. hope we see that. Let's get donations in for that. It's going to be yeah, a whole crazy. lot of fun. Yeah, I, all I can say, everybody, is that prepare for some flying cars. This game has some spectacular bugs, so uh, would love to show that off. Some, some physics-defying things and also just art pieces of demos. What, what the Shortcut Showcase is, is that we, uh, we take all the world record runs on some of these tracks and we show uh, what they've done to achieve the world record with the shortcut. And some of them are just like, yeah, stunning, stunning works of art that players have decided to make in this game over the course of a lot of grinding. So if, if you think it's worth your $5, then it's cool that you guys have a, a high frame going for it. I'd love to show it off. Here we have CO2 Race. This is uh, a bit of an all styles map. It features every single surface, and to get a good time here, you have to try to master all of that. So, uh, it is a tricky one. We're off to a good start here, though. That uphill turn can be uh, tough to get. Now we have the dirt section done, and there's going to be a grass turn coming up. Where you have to just fully commit to it, fully steer to make it through. Looks like we're good here. And then the last turn. Alright. Oh, got a bit of a slowdown. This could be bad. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to try to land this. Oh, we can save it. All right, so this is interesting that I got to show this off. This is called turtling. And um, was my idea to show that off? You, something has gone wrong if you end up upside down, but the wheels in this game have grips on both sides. So, so long as you, your wheels are actually touching the ground, even if it's upside down, uh, you can drive into the finish. Looks kind of funny, but yeah. 
<laughs> another interesting bug they left in the game. All right, CO4 race. So this one um, is going to be in the shortcut showcase. There is a pretty spectacular skip that saves two and a half seconds that I cannot do in the live run. But again, if uh, if it isn't that, I'd love to show that off too. How are we actually doing now? Has it, has it just kept going the same way? It has kept going the same way. We are only $3,056 away from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's going fast now. Uh, All right, okay. I got a little update. We're only two thousand two hundred dollars away from this in just that Wait. matter of seconds. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay. Crazy. So it seems like you guys want to see some shortcuts. That's fun. That's fun. I like it. We have a CO five endurance here. I'll just quickly run through the uh, first lap, and then the second one, we could uh, beat up some of the donations that have come in. So um, yeah, this track, it is uh, one of the scariest in the run. The reason is, is that there is a turn coming up where we'll have about 400 speed and we're going to basically be diving straight into some holes. Now there is a, uh, a line that you can go through, but y you'll see it coming up here. It is scary. You're gonna have to line up for it in advance and hope you have it. So let's see if I do here. Just try to oh we're gonna have to adapt to go on the inside yeah so uh, that turn it's very tricky uh here i was able to save it but there's still one more lap to go so let's hope co5 has mercy but uh feel free to read some read up some of these uh, donations nicole absolutely we have a one thousand dollar donation from kyle the coder let's cut some shorts Amazing. So much love for this. We have $500 from Reptar's Rage. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So she can showcase some shortcuts. Thank you so much for that donation. We are now only $1,500 away. Oh my I am, god, it's going to be met, isn't it's it? It's absolutely. <laughs> I am so short. Come on, everyone. We can absolutely do this. Crazy, crazy. We have $660 from Fish. Today I learned you can break in the air to stop the car rotating. Mind equals blown. Put this towards the shortcut showcase. I clearly have a lot more to learn. Yeah, no, uh, don't try that in real life. This is a Trek Mania exclusive, but... It is pretty handy if you play Trek Mania. This uh, game has a lot of stuff you can learn and spend time on, a lot of tricks you can uh, can master. So that is one of them. Uh, and they recently just released a new Trek Mania game that came out. So if you're interested in any of this, if uh, you want to start playing or if you've been thinking about it, I highly suggest giving the, uh, the new Trek Mania game a shot as well. That one is receiving some updates. This one is kind of just uh, still around on the internet now, and there are a few people that play it. But the new game is, is where things are going down, so... Here we have CO6. This track has perhaps the toughest turn in the game in this uh, uphill drift, where you can just barely get around, and then down the platform again. And there's an additional trick we could try here. Um, these are just minor, minor details, but they do save some time. So I don't think we have the necessary speed, but if on this last jump you land on the bottom road instead of touching the top one... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, as I was about to say, if you land on the, the bottom road instead of the top one, you save a bit of time. There we lost some time, but we made it through. All good. That was uh, scary. CO7 here. Quick uh, disclaimer, this is another track in the shortcut showcase I have lined up. There's going to be about, we'll see how much we have time for, uh, between 5 and 10 replays uh, of the maps. And this is one of the newly found shortcuts in the game. The uh, th This game, it's been played by many, many players for a lot of years, so it's not that often that we find new things, but the shortcut on this one was found in 2019, which is pretty spectacular. Last drop here, more poles await us. Oh god, another one. <laughs> uh, they can be hard to avoid and it only gets worse here because CO8 obstacle, if you have a look on the overview here, it's just poles all around. So that is one way they try to make this game more hard. It is speed and it is poles in your way. For now, though, they actually haven't been too unkind to us. 
We've gotten through most things all right so far. Last part here can be precise. Just gotta focus, get through. Great. Okay. And C09, well, it is an okay track, but there are still more holes and pipes this time to uh, to avoid. We'll see how we do. But I actually am curious now, Nicole, have we met the, uh, the incentive at this point? Ritual, we are so close. We are yeah. so, so close. We are $805 <laughs> away from meeting this incentive. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this map is actually also in that showcase that I have lined up. So, uh, yeah. Shortcut on this map takes a completely different route than the one I'm showing right now. But for this one, there is a trick at the ending that we're going to try to get enough speed for. 380 is necessary to jump over this final pipe here. That does look good. Now we just gotta have a good landing, and that's fine, that fine, that works. Now we're on to C10 here. So this red block, I didn't have to explain what it does, but it's called the freewheeling block. It stops your engine. So right now the engine is just rolling, and we have to preserve the speed that we had as best we can. So we're going to do some small drifts, and speed is the most important thing when we're driving those tracks. It's not used a lot in the campaign. I believe there's only one or two more tracks that actually uses it. But it is still there and uh, it can be hard because if you crash with that block, it loses so much time. You, you have to reset the track most of the time. So yeah, C11 here. This is a high speed, very technical track where again, you want to preserve speed, but it's because the track is built for that. Just doing Good drifts, good turns. Trying to drive the uh, correct racing lines where it's possible. At the end here, we can do one trick. It's called the drift cancel. So we drift the first part of the turn, then we stop drifting and it builds up more speed for the uphill and this jump, which saves a few hundreds of a sec. Into the finish. Now we have C12. This is a pretty thematic track. It has quarter pipe jumps. So you have to jump from quarter pipe to quarter pipe. Uh, there are four of those, but on the last one, there is a shortcut that I will do in this run. So we're going to do three quarter pipe jumps here. And then on the last one, we could use some nicely placed scenery on the track. So uh, it's coming up here. I'm gonna do this final one. Then we're going to take this track point, turn around, and now jump up on the scenery here and then simply drop down into the finish from the other side. That saves 0.3 of a second, but it is easier than driving the intended way. So uh, we take those, we take those. C13 here, another high speed track where uh, air brakes and uh, slides are just king. It's absolutely essential to, to get through this one. On this jump, uh, small detail. We're going to line up the car to the left a bit so that it lands in a drift here. If we hadn't done this, we would have been too late for the turn and just gone straight into the wall. But because of that, we make it through and now we have some turn combinations that we need to watch out for. Pass some poles and narrowed roads here, which can be surprising if you don't know they're there. Final jump and into the finish we go. Now we're on to C14. So Nicole, uh, if you, if you have any donations, you can read them up right now on the first lap. I'll need to explain something on the third lap here, though. I absolutely do. I have a $100 donation from Jim Cube, donating for the Trackmania Shortcut Showcase. Good luck and awesome commentary so far virtual. And I have an anonymous $200 donation that simply says, Shortcase Showcuts. <laughs> <laughs> There is a $5 donation from Andrea Jane. This haiku is missing syllables. Shortcut, please. And did you know we are only $216 away from this incentive? That is wild. That is wild. It's gone so fast. Keep, uh, keep reading if we have any. I sure do. We have Nightwick with $50, bringing 10 trains to this $5 train to get them shortcuts. Right, we have $800 right. from Convex Spoon. There are no shortcuts in life unless we meet this incentive. Yeah, anything is possible in Track Mania. So, um, there is a shortcut on this track, but it works only in the last lap. That is uh, 
while we take it over here. So if you notice this part of the track, it's very long between that checkpoint and the finish, which is going to be this multi-lap here. So the idea of the shortcut that we're going to be trying is to just go as fast as possible from the checkpoint to the multi-lap. The way we're going to do this is we're going to jump out on the grass. To jump out on the grass, we need speed. And for that, we're going to do a trick called the bug slide. I'm going to line up my car 90 degrees to the right and land in a drift. And hopefully that is going to take us out on the grass. Well, now it's not that trick, but we land on the grass anyway. So this is actually going to work. Uh, straight off, not the plan, but we can just drive right to the finish here. And uh, I don't think it's going to save too much time. It's going to be about equal to not shortcutting here. But the idea was there. <laughs> we'll take that. Sure enough. Um, C15 here, the last track in the blue series. Uh, this is one of the most disliked tracks in the game for uh, one reason only, and that is bugs. There are some bugs in this game. One of them is the landing bug, where your car can simply lose all its speed on the landing, and it can happen a lot in this loop right here. We actually didn't get it now, so that is, that is good. It is very scary. Basically, your car collides with the ground when it lands, and if that happens in that loop, you, you won't make it through. So, uh... With that done, C15, we can just cruise to the finish and get ready for the red series. Just one last turn here through this uh, valley. Now, last jump, we have a bit too much speed. Release the acceleration just a little bit so that we go into the finish. On to red now, D01 Endurance. Another multi-lap, so again, if there are more donations, keep reading them up here. This is a good time. Absolutely. Speaking of landing bugs, we have a $30 donation from Race Freak. You've got this virtual. May your times be quick and landing bugs be few. Greetings from Texas. All right. Thank you. And we are only $131 <laughs> away. Damn, it's gone fast. Thank you guys all for, uh, for really showing the love here. It's all going to a great cause. So uh, thank you all for the donations. Let's, uh, let's hit it and let's do some shortcuts. I, I can't wait. So yeah, D01 here, it's a very high speed track. Uh, and on this one, for full speed runs, you pretty much just want to stay away from every wall. Uh, sounds simple enough when you say it, but with uh, around 500 speed average, it's difficult. Though uh, people in this game that do the individual tracks only have done it so, so well. Like the world records in this game are fairly optimized at this point. We're talking, um, to the point where uh, it, it's hard to improve them further. So D01, for example, if we pay attention to my final time here, the world record for individual when you're just playing the track is a 215. And I'm most likely going to end up with a 221 or 20 here. So it's just six seconds on the same track with no visible crashes, but just uh, refinements on the racing lines for driving. So uh, yeah. Uh, simply stunning uh, how well the, the world record has been driven on this track in the game and others but I'm particularly impressed by by this one because I, I can't get close to it myself but uh, yeah uh, one more lap to go here again I'm just I, I want to hear these donations it's crazy the amount of money that's coming so uh, it's absolutely amazing <laughs> <laughs> we have a $50 donation from Z0. Another $50 if you manage a nose bug. Ooh, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we have a $20 donation from Verosa39, and it is comment shortcut remove all vowels. With all the vowels removed, took me a second. Mm -hmm. And you know, this, this of course is a speed running marathon and the whole thing is to take shortcuts. And with that, I am very happy to announce that we have hit that incentive. Wow, amazing everybody. Thank you so much for all the donations. I believe we had $6,000 to go at the start of the run. So that's just, that's it's just spectacular. Thank you. Amazing. So, yeah. let's, let's see some shortcuts. Give yourselves a round of applause. That is uh, incredible. Thank you all. We have one shortcut there uh, that I just did, DO2. This was a bit of an oversight on the developer side that you could simply skip that quarter pipe. Now here, I'm actually going to have a forced camera perspective. I cannot change my camera. We're driving with the internal one and we just have to get past those poles. 
not too comfortable with that camera but it's there it's just on the track so we got through it it's one thing i haven't really mentioned but this game has um three camera perspectives you can choose from so it is camera one the one i usually drive with you have camera two which is a bit lower and then you have camera three which is internal so this one wall ride track dl3 acrobatic they give you the uh, force camera on purpose so you could actually see where you're going better in these uh, wall rides here so that looks good and yeah when we get through this one the acrobatic tracks as i said they are tricky they are scary it's not very conventional racing maps but you just have to get through them and keep keep going do 4 here this is another track in the shortcut showcase and believe it or not this shortcut was found this year uh, it's not that often that you could say that in Trackmania, but yeah, recently there was just this this one idea that popped up. A lot of people uh, contributed ideas to making it work. And now we have a shortcut on this map that saves about two seconds, uh, contrary to driving the normal way. So yeah, it's uh, it never stops amazing me how after 12 years, after many hundreds of thousands of players have stepped foot in the game, still there are more things to to find and to do so last turn here and we're good to go now on this next map do5 race there is a shortcut that i will be attempting it is a bit of a coin flip i'm just gonna lay that down right now it could go wrong but we're going to bounce on the light of a ring and try to land on top of some scenery so uh best of luck to me here here we go Wow, that is actually about as perfect as you can expect to get it. Uh, very happy I got that. That saves around five seconds. So, uh, yeah, no, that went well. That went well. We're still not done with the track. There's about 30 seconds left of driving. And at the end here, there is another small shortcut we can do. So uh, we're just going to have to get through this dirt part first. Land on the booster here. And then at the end here, there is a big jump where if you look at the bottom right, you look at the speedometer, we have to hit 380 speed at least after this turn uh, for it to work. That could be enough. That is going to be enough. And now if we aim here, we can jump through this gap and go into the finish. Wow, that was a good do 5 Under a minute there is very, very solid. So uh, happy I got to show that off. But that is just the stuff we can do in real time. Like now that we hit the shortcut showcase, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to showing you the rest this game has. DO6 Obstacle, this is another multi-lap where we just drive wall rides around and around and around. So, Nicole, if you have more donations, feel free to, to read them up here. Oh, we absolutely do. I have $250 from Stacks. Shoutouts from the Rocket League community. Loving the run. Enjoy the shortcuts. We have $200 from Mott. I felt like such a hot shot when I dipped into the 1,000 in Trackmania Nations. Never would have imagined the Trackmania series making it to such an event. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, uh, and it, it's hard because most Trackmania players are from Europe. So uh, you haven't really had the opportunity to go to, to GDQ. I've wanted to for a long time myself, but the travel costs and uh, the logistics of it was tricky. So now with the online event, it's, it's cool to finally be here in some form and, and showing it. Thank you all for the donations. We have DO7 here. This is another block, uh, another map with the freewheeling block, but here we can skip it to some degree. So there's a shortcut again that we can do, where on the first checkpoint here, we're going to jump out to the right, skipping the uh, normal way turn here, just driving on this dirt mountain and going straight down to the next checkpoint. Because that block that we just skipped turns off the engine um, this is a lot faster it saves about four or five seconds and it's very doable in runs so nice shortcut there there is one at the end here that we cannot skip we're just gonna have to drive it but then you really get to see just how slow especially this combination dirt and freewheeling is so wherever we can skip freewheeling in track mania we we do want to do that here's the block and from now on the car is just gonna roll so we're gonna go as high as we can here get a lot of speed for this uphill and at this point we're just rolling into the finish so now there's going to be quite a transition because we're going from one of the slowest maps in the game 
to uh, one of the fastest. This is DO8 speed, and uh, here we really have to focus. There are some hard turns where if you're not on the line, let's say, then you're going to miss, and you're going to crash, and it's going to be very slow. So the first turn is right here. I actually missed the line, had to release the acceleration just a little bit to make it through. Now we're going on to the dirt, and we have to go very close around this one mountain so that we don't end up on that mountain. Now, try to build up speed here. Intentionally, we don't air brake so that we get a little dive over that uphill. And now, two more turns remain. And again, we can do a drift cancel in this last turn. So we slide the first part and then we accelerate in the last part. Glad we got through DO8. It's, uh, it's one of my least favorite maps, so... Uh, just because the the potential for failure is so big there but do 9 obstacle this is uh, very unique here we're just gonna drive straight up the sculpture here on the start of the map and hopefully we'll get a landing with a bit of acceleration in it yeah that was good so uh driving up that last part can be pretty slow if you don't get it right now we have a long drop down we need to release the acceleration a little bit so that we land on the downhill and get enough speed for this jump that's all good. And now just one more statue here. Try to stay as low as we can. And then we have to jump through that window. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I saw I saw that was probably going to fail, but I'm glad we got through. D10, another shortcut that we can do here. We're going to start out by climbing the wall to the left going over here and now we're taking the second checkpoint on the map this game doesn't force you to take the checkpoints in a specific order so we're going to start out with number two here and pick up number one later for now we're just going to follow the road we can do a tiny shortcut here go on the scenery and go back to the track and now we're going to jump to the right pick up the first checkpoint and then jump back onto the track for the final part the intended way Doing this saves five seconds or so. Uh, it can be pretty tricky, but the hardest part of the map is actually here at the ending where we have to go in between this gap right here onto the road and then in between these pillars. Oi, <laughs> that almost went wrong too, but we got through. Now we're on D11 Acrobatic. This is the final Acrobatic track in the game. It is just a jump here. To these boosters line up for the next one and then a jump here onto the finish platform good that is the 11 done if we have more donations just keep reading them here nicole it is amazing to be part of this so go for it we absolutely do <laughs> We have $25 from Askerad, being invested in the Trackmania community as a skinner and following the speedrunning scene. Seeing TM being run in live marathons is just my favorite. It's such a great occasion to showcase these games I love. Cheers for virtual. You're killing it, mate. We have a $30 donation from Carrier Fry. Hi, virtual. Great to see you at SGDQ 2020. Wishing you a good run and don't pull a virtual. <laughs> <laughs> it's already been done. It's too late. Oh. <laughs> no, it's it's good. It's good. We still have the, the important tracks coming up. But yeah, thank you. We have five dollars from Fault Force. Great to see you running Nations Forever and keeping the old game alive. Lots of love from the community and doing those bug for us. Hmm. Yeah, thank you. So um, we're on to D13 here. Some no spoke incentive is being talked about. I don't know if I can show that. It's a, it's a crazy bug in this game. But we, are, we get to do another cool bug here on D13. I was going to do it at C14, the one where we jumped out on the grass, but that kind of failed. So let's see if we can do it a bit better, a bit more justice here on D13. Um, there is a turn coming up at the end here where it's a very sharp dirt turn and you enter it with a lot of speed. So what we can do is we can line up the car sideways, hold down the drift keys, and hopefully this is just going to uh, work very seamlessly here. So let's try. It's right here. We line up sideways, land in a drift, and we just cruise through the turn. It's not intended by the developers. It's called a bug slide, but it seems almost intentional in that turn because of how 
how smoothly, how effortlessly it works. So, uh, it's, it's one of the, the fancier tricks in this game. Glad we got to show it off. Now we have two very long tracks coming up. D14 here is about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. And D15 is about 7 minutes. So, I'll run through the first laps here of each track. And then we can just go for a donation reading spree. It's a good time to get your donations in. Because they're most likely going to be read here. Since we have so much time. So, D14 here. This is a pretty scary track it's uh arguably the most technical there are so many tight precise turns on this uh on this track and you have to drive it for nearly three minutes so turns like this one hairpins that you can just barely get your car through uh are what you have in store at the end here though we can do a pretty cool trick this is a a wall hit so in this turn specifically because it's so sharp it's actually faster to just slam the car into the wall, realign for the next turn, and it saves a bit of time there. Because the alternative would be to slow down so much to avoid the hit, so... The, uh, the wall hit doesn't lose any speed, it's just a nice realignment. So now we're in for just two more laps of this, and hopefully some, uh, some amazing donations. Feel free to read them here, uh, Nicole. Thank you so much, we do have quite a few still. We have $5 from IJ. Don't pull a virtual. When are you going to run the new Track Mania? Let's meet the incentive and show people how fun this game is. And again, I am so excited that we met that incentive. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, seemed, it seemed far, but no, you guys pulled through. Thank you so much. Absolutely amazing. We have a $50 anonymous donation. Ahoy, GDQ. Thanks to all the runners and event staff for making this possible. Breaking games and taking games. A good way to enjoy the week. For sure. We have $200 from Stood on a Lego. A haiku. We must have more games. $5 train anyone? Mario Kart hype. As always, thank you for all your hard work putting together such an awesome event. Thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, we still we still got time here if there if there are more to be read, sure. Absolutely yes. We have Scary Laggy $25. Keep up the great work. You all are awesome as always. And we have $25 from Chase74 that says, Hodor, and in parentheses, as a translation, GDQ is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> yeah, that was cute. We have Super Saiyan Fight for $5. $5 hype train until we hit 500k. Let's do it, people. Yeah, how close are we on that? We are at... Da -da -da. $323,000. Ooh, okay, okay. We are Solid. getting there. Yeah, for sure. So, um, we are on to D15 Endurance here. And for this track, we like to have a bit of a guessing game. This track takes between 7 minutes and 11 seconds. And 7 minutes and, let's say, 25 seconds to complete if things go badly. And we like to try to guess on the exact 100th. So, GDQ chat, I'm going to ask you here to put some numbers in the chat between 711 and 725. And then uh, we can check back to the board and see if anyone actually guesses it correctly. Let's have a little fun. Let's see if anyone gets it. Cookies all around to those who get it correctly. But uh, yeah, this is one of the toughest tracks in the game to play because you just have to sit and drive for seven minutes straight. And uh, for a world record attempt on this one, you can't really make any mistakes whatsoever. You just have to keep calm, keep focused, and try as best as you can to avoid the so-called bugs. Ooh, okay, that was fine. We talked a bit about it earlier, but basically, uh, at some of these landings, and on dirt, it's very common that your car can just lose all its speed. Uh, it's a so-called landing bug. And if you see that one very big jump on the track that we have, that one is particularly infamous for it so on some landings here i can lose all my speed there and it would be um it, it would affect the the final result but yeah if we have more donations just uh feel free to read them uh, at this point absolutely we have 15 dollars from pork back 
quirk back fat. I don't have a lot to donate, but I'm hoping that all of you watching can toss in something as well. A little goes a long way when we all pitch in together, just like it goes a long way when we save the frames. A haiku for donations. Send in donations. Help Doctors Without Borders. Runners, save the frames. That was nice. We have a... That was really sweet, yeah. We have a $20 donation from Vanessa towards the Mario Kart 8 incentive. Don't let Mario Kart get blue shelled. Here's $20 towards the bonus game. Now, everyone watching, we've seen what you just did with the incentive for the shortcuts. I believe in you for the incentive for the bonus game, too. How, how far are we on the bonus We game? are $15,400 away, but I honestly think we can do it. And how how long do we have? Oh gosh, uh, Mario Kart 8. We have one run before then, and it is a fairly long run, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Ooh. HD. So we've got quite a bit of time to hit that. Oh yeah, I, I like seeing seeing this myself, with my own eyes here. I think we can get that one. I might have to uh, get a donation in myself after my run here. I love some Mario Kart. So keep it up, guys. You're doing amazing stuff for amazing causes and. It is just all around a very wholesome event, so much love from me as well, seeing this, being part of GDQ, it's it's amazing. Anyways, we're about halfway here on D15, and I can say that if you made a prediction around 7.15, you're probably looking very good right now. The run has been pretty average. If you uh, look at the yellow numbers up top, those are our current lap uh, splits. And each lap, we want to get about 43 flat if we're driving world record pace. But uh, if you get some 42 laps here, then you've, you've done pretty much everything perfectly. So that would result in a 7.11. If you get, you know, 43.5, it's going to lose a lot of time over the course of the full lap. So 43s, they are all right. 42s are very exciting. I had one earlier. We'll, we'll see how many we get. We still have four more chances here. But every single lap here, again, we're doing that that wall hit to, to gain some time. So just smashing the cart right into the wall border and it sets us up nicely for the following turn. And so far, the, the bugs that I mentioned have not affected us. We've been very fortunate here. So uh, it's on the faster end of the spectrum for sure. But yeah, still still three minutes to go here. Feel free to keep uh, reading the donations. Absolutely. I have a $50 donation from TYCM that says, who is that handsome young man in the top left? Lots of love from the Vibe community. Thanks for this awesome run and don't pull a virtual virtual. <laughs> oh, it's uh, adding a pressure now. We're pulling a virtual. <laughs> nah, it's, it's good, it's good. We'll see what happens. Well, you're doing yeah, going. amazing. We have $10 from Real HDNA. Haiku time. Last day of summer. School will soon be in session. Today we watch games. We have a $20 donation from Dej that says, Hype SGDQ. And we are down to only needing $12,855 for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Wow, I, I think it's going to be met here. I, I can see that happening. But, uh, the amount of support is so, so uh, generous for these. Uh, it's so amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, so um, a lot of uh, people are mentioning pulling a virtual here. And I think most people are referring to one track coming up later on uh, that is going to be EO2 Endurance where uh, we're going to be trying a crazy shortcut route. Um, I can't really say that it is marathon safe because frankly it isn't, but it's one that I've been playing a lot myself, that shortcut route. Um, so I'm going to be trying to do it and uh, we, can, we can see how successful we are at it when we get there. That is uh, sort of the, um, when you're doing full game speedruns of this, the. Um, Final tracks here, D15, which is so, so long. Uh, EL2, EL3, these uh, long tracks in the end are your uh, run killers. They decide how fast the run truly is going to be. So we have one more lap here. It looks like we're actually on for a 7.15, as I said earlier. So everybody remember your predictions. 
It would be crazy if someone gets it down to the 100. I'm just going to be driving as fast as I can here. And we'll see if anyone got it later on. Got one more landing here. And with that, we can actually celebrate 10 out of 10 landings with no bug. Very rare that happens here. But the, the gods were with us today, so we'll take that. Okay. Oh, are we going to miss the 15? Uh, it might be a 16. Or even a 17. Okay, 7, 17, 44 it is. And with that, we are on to E01 here. This is a full speed track. So a lot of loops and wall rides, but already here, my attention is turned to E02. I'm going to have to start explaining this. So E02, the next track, it is a four minute long track where um, there are a lot of turns, a lot of technical turns. The track kind of looks like a bowl of spaghetti and on the track uh, we've for years wondered you know could there be a really good shortcut route there was already one existing shortcut route we thought could there be a faster one and last year uh, one guy from the community sat down and he wrote a computer algorithm to sort of solve the map where he wanted to find what was the theoretical fastest solution so we drove every single segment on the map checkpoint to checkpoint there were about 400. You're going to see it here. It is a crazy map. We do about 400 segments, and the route I'm about to show is one of the top three fastest solutions. So it starts out here. We're going to climb over this wall and land back down on the track. And if I now show you the overview of the map, uh, you'll get the, the spaghetti reference. This is a crazy chaotic looking map, but in the midst of the chaos, there is this um, beautiful solution. So the track continues here. One of the hardest shortcut parts is coming up right now, where we're going to try to make it over this wall. Ooh, okay, okay, but we can turtle this. And now we can also unturtle this, where we flip back on the wheels. And just getting part that, past that part is fine. Even if we land upside down, that is very hard to do in a live run. I'm glad we got past. Um, I'm not really going to bother you with which checkpoints we're taking now but i can basically tell you we are not taking any checkpoints in the correct order we're just uh, going through this part we call the six side part where you go left right left right and we're coming up to the third shortcut this consists of about five shortcuts the route i'm doing right now there is one with eight but that is too unsafe for a marathon so we're doing the five shortcut the third shortcut we're doing is coming up on the left side now we're going to climb over the wall after the checkpoint here. Ooh. Okay, we're going to have to back this up. I uh, did not get out over. So we're going to do it backwards, line it up, and... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. We're going to have to get creative here now. Uh, let's see. I think we just do this backwards. Okay. Uh, again, a bit shabby. We're going to have to unturtle this on this wall here bit unfortunate but we got across that is what matters so now we can continue on with the route we're going to go through this checkpoint here and this ladies and gentlemen is actually the start of the map these are the first few checkpoints we skipped checkpoints one two and three and now we're taking them and we're going to follow the normal route for a little bit and then we're basically not going to go on the normal route at all anymore so we're going to go here we're going to uh, jump up here and from here on out, we're just gonna go opposite of every sign. So we had a sign There was a bug. We had a sign there pointing to the right. We're gonna go to the left Here there's a sign pointing to the left and we are going to go to the right And again here, there's a sign pointing to the right. Guess what? We're going to the left The signs here are only suggested Here we're actually going to follow them for a little bit We're just going to uh quickly take this checkpoint turn around i know it might be confusing but again this is this is not something humans could even conceive of this is just a computer showing us uh, what's the fastest kind of like a, a chess computer showing you you know the perfect engine moves this is uh, similar in track mania here we have a very hard shortcut this is the fourth one coming up we're gonna have to climb from wall to wall just get the wheels on the wall here, and if we go backwards, we can just barely reach that other one. 
Very hard to get that, but we got across. And now there's just one shortcut left to do, and we'll be done with uh, the map here. So the final one, we're just going to go down to the finish section, which is the bottom floor of the map. And we're going to do that from uh, this checkpoint here. So to the left now, we're going to find the wall. And hopefully that goes perfectly just like that. All right, beautiful. So EL2 here, we had some mistakes, but for a lap marathon, I'm more than happy with, uh, with this showcase of the shortcut. I cannot complain, that was good, that was good. We had one that kind of didn't work out too well. But yeah, that is EL2. Um, and uh, well, for this one, as I said, it has an eight, eight shortcut route that someone recently did the world record on and it's going to be very hard to improve that. That was a 329 with the uh, the eighth shortcut route. We look, we're looking at about a 423 here, which still is enough to get author medal. So we'll take that and go to E03. This track, uh, I'm just going to quickly run through it. It's known as the Pro Killer. Uh, and the reason for that is that no players really look like a pro on this one. It is the buggiest track in the game. So there's going to be a lot of landings here where we're just like that. The car flinches and we're going to lose a lot of speed. Still though, we're going to try to make the most of it. Do a small shortcut here, jumping into the checkpoint, then respawning and continuing. But apart from that, we're just going to be driving through the lap here. So Nicole, if we have any more donations here on the tail end of the run, feel free to, uh, to read them up now. We got time. I sure do. I have $500 from Jay Papalonia. Much love from the UK and wishing you luck, especially considering what time it is there. Yeah, it's, it's getting a bit late, but thank you. <laughs> we have $10 from Anonymous. Love this run. Love Trackmania. Love how quickly we met that shortcut incentive. Love my husband. Love my dog, Scallion. And love Doctors Without Borders. Spread the love, y'all. Thank you so much. We have $20 from Adam the Feverish. Wow, talk about speed. Can't wait for the shortcut showcase. Keep up the good work, Virtual. Thank you. We have $800 from Cal. Such a joy to see Trackmania at SGDQ. I've never been so bad at a game after spending so much time playing. Looking forward to the showcase. Yeah, that is sort of the thing with Trackmania. So you, can, you can put hundreds and hundreds of hours into this and uh, you still find things you can improve on. It's a game that I myself have sunk thousands of hours into, but you know, it's still, it's still refreshing to play. There's still more things to learn and to, uh, to explore, so uh, I can tell you, if you want to start playing this game, it is going to be a, a long journey, but there's a lot of mastery you can uh, feel through this game. So yeah, if we have more donations here, just, just keep on reading them, it's, uh, it's amazing to hear. We absolutely do. We have $250 from KX85. Hi, GDQ. I can't miss a single GDQ event. Keep up the great work and get those incentives, Matt. We have $5 from Sketchshire Cat. 13, play more games, save more frames, save more lives. Let's hit that Mario Kart 8 bonus incentive, everyone. Let's go ahead and check on that. And it looks like we only need a $11,610, wow. which is such a huge, we've, we've done great on that. <laughs> Everyone's doing amazing. Yeah, just, just, just 20 minutes ago, I was on 13K, I believe, so wow. Yeah. Amazing. Keep it up, guys. We have $100 from Linko9. As a doctor myself, I was moved when I discovered what the gaming community has been doing through GDQ. Good luck to all the runners and Mario Kart hype. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll take over a little bit. We are on EO3, as I said, and uh, as you can see, this really is sort of one of the, uh, the final boss levels of uh, Trackmania here, where we're not really uh, playing a Formula One racing game anymore. It's sort of a uh, mountain climbing game with those uh, dirt hills at the end, but you know, they're in the game. We have to master this as well. And uh, on the note of bugs here, we have been pretty fortunate. There hasn't been much bad happening, but there's still one full lap to go. And on this track, EO3, anything can happen. There has, yeah, that that's one. There's actually never been, oh wow. Yeah, we can save this, I believe, just barely. Good. There's actually never been a full run of this track without any bugs. It's a bit of a, a fun fact in this game, but 
any like competitive run at the highest level a world record let's say never without bugs so um th this is one of the more interesting tracks where you just you sort of accept the fact that it is uh, not perfect uh, and it is buggy but the thing about it is that you can have these bugs which are unfortunate that like they lose time they lose speed uh, they're frustrating but as you're going to be seeing soon in the shortcut showcase we also have some incredible amazing bugs that allow us to do very fun things so i in my perspective we take the bad with the good and we say let's go because i mean yeah you'll see soon why uh why it's all right that there are landing bugs and dirt mountains and everything when uh, we show the shortcut showcase if we have some more donations this is a good time Absolutely do. We have $5 from Rasta TM. So proud of this first Trackmania speedrun at GDQ. Hoping for more in the future. Me too. It's been super, super fun. Yeah, surely. We have $15 from Gems. Thanks for doing these events every year, GDQ team, and everyone who's involved. Thank you for sending in your donation. Yeah, all right. Okay, so last track here. This is EO4. Uh, we're going to do a shortcut on the start here. We just turned around the start block and went to that platform to pick up this checkpoint. Now we're actually going to jump back to the start again. We only wanted that checkpoint because that was the last one on the map. Now that we've taken it, we can take another checkpoint as our final one. So we're going to jump down here. And if you look through the window here, you'll see that one checkpoint behind us. We're going to take that as the last checkpoint on the track because that one has a very fast way to reach the finish with. We're gonna jump through these rings, and if we get good speed on this upcoming landing, we can... Oh, should we try it? No, nah, okay, uh, the line was a bit bad. There is there is one trick we can do there that saves 5 seconds, but it loses 10, so it's a bit of a, a coin flip to go for. I decided not to, but it's still alright not to do it. So we're gonna take that ring that way, respawn, jump back here, and now we're driving sort of the intended route of the track, for most of the remainder, we're just going to jump um, back to that checkpoint to, uh, to finish off the run, the one I talked about. So we are coming up on time here in just about 30 seconds. There is uh, just this one jump remaining, which is tricky, but it makes this whole shortcut route work. And that is right after this here. So let's see if we can get that. That will conclude this speed run. And then we'll do some shortcuts. So, let's look here. Line that up, line that up. And yeah, we're gonna land this. So, time's coming up in three, two, one. That is Trek Mania Nations Forever, all tracks except EO5. So, again, if you just joined, the reason we don't play the last track here, EO5, it's because this track is about one hour long. So, we'd basically be halfway in the run at this point playing through every single track except that one uh, and it has 60 laps so yeah uh, thank you all for watching that we're now going to go over to the shortcut showcase what you all got your money in for what you've all been waiting for so let me just have a quick sip of water here and then we'll we'll go through it all right so we're starting off here on a09 this is sort of the appetizer so this is one of the first tracks in the game and on this track, we were actually able to use bugs to our advantage. I mentioned there were bad bugs, but here we have a good bug. So if you pay attention to the gray car here, Trinity, on this drop down, he's going to intentionally make his front wheel get a bug on this transition here. You see the wheel lifts up into the air for seemingly no reason. He gets a massive bug. And what this does is it lets him drop down here at full speed. It is very hard to get that bug precisely, but Compared to the second place time here from Race Sounds, you can see just how much time it saves there. And he was able to beat this world record this year by about 20 hundreds. Here we have the second shortcut. This is on D11 Acrobatic. And you might be wondering where the shortcut could be here because it's a pretty simple track. All you do is you jump with the boosters onto the next boosters and then onto the finish platform. But for Drew here, that is too slow. He doesn't have time for that, so he's going to do this here. Yeah, so Drew here lines up his car all the way to the right on the booster. He gets as much to the left as he can here. 
and then he lands in the ring. You can see how precise this is. He lands in the ring, uses it as a launching ramp to just fly directly to the finish. It is a spectacular replay, and this is the world record. All these runs we're showing are world records. They're not tool-assisted runs. They are runs that human players have uh, perfected for, you know, hundreds of hours of playing. So this next one on CO4 here, this is by Aerosol, and this is going to need some explanation. So coming up after this loop, there is a checkpoint. You can see it here if we go on the free camera. There is this checkpoint here. And the intended way follows that you drive through this uh, coming tunnel and you jump out on the other side. What Aerosol is going to do here is that he's going to jump underneath the loop. He's going to touch the line of the checkpoint from the bottom here, but like just with his left wheel here, he touches the checkpoint, he collects the checkpoint, lands on this platform, and then rejoins the track. So that skips both the loop and the tunnel, and this saves two and a half seconds. It is very, very precise to get that. You have to like, actually touch a perfect spot underneath to, to, to touch the checkpoint, but it's just one of these tracks where a shortcut looks almost intended because of how well executed it is. So there we have CO4. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into the crazy stuff. This is A12. I mentioned this in the run that this is one of the, the craziest shortcuts we have. I said prepare for flying cars, so prepare for flying cars. I'm just going to let this one play through. Enjoy. Like, like, what do you even say to this? You know, this is the world record from Hefest. It is a absolutely crazy world record replay that we have in this game. And what happens here is a combination of three bugs at once. So first of all, he gets a bug with his back wheel here on this uh, black border that pushes the back wheel up into the air. This gives him a bit more distance and it allows him to land in a bug slide. This is the 90 degree slide that we had that gains a lot of speed. He lands in that bug slide and gets past the checkpoint. And then when he hits the wall here, the game does a miscalculation of your speed because of the bug slide. And it just so happens on this map that if you get this miscalculation, the game gives you more speed instead of reducing speed. You can fly straight into the finish. But this is not easy. It's very, very lucky to get it. Players spent hundreds of hours trying this and half has just so happened to get the perfect uh, shortcut here with that. And Hefest, he's a known face in track mania. He has another shortcut here on DO5, DO4 actually. And this one was found this year. So it, it's a bit wild. If you saw us in the speedrun, you might not even recognize the track because of how different this route is. But you start out, you take the second checkpoint first, then you take the third, the fourth, and then the first checkpoint and you finish. So right now he's taking the second. He's going to follow the normal way for a little bit here. Uh, and then at the ending, there was a problem that we had to solve where we were wondering how can we get through the first checkpoint and get enough speed to get to the finish. Well, what Hefes is going to do here is he's going to take a lot of speed here, go up the hill, go over these boosters that slow him down through the first checkpoint, hit this sign, do a spectacular flip, land in a bug slide, and then get into the finish. This last part especially was a huge struggle to land in an angle where you can do this 90 degree slide on the sculpture. You can see he just barely, barely reaches it and can get into the finish. This is not marathon safe, it's not speedrun safe. It's only been done once and by Hefest alone, he's the only person who got that, but it's now the world record. Now we have C10 here. And if you look at the track, you see the road goes up here and then you follow the road and you go to the finish. Magic Peach here doesn't have time for that. It's too slow. He's just going to go onto the floor go right towards the finish. And he's going to use this nicely placed scenery here to just bounce into the finish, skipping the entire track because it just so happens that this uh, one bar on the scenery is placed here. So his, cars can, his car can bounce on that and perfectly land into the finish, saving about two to three seconds. Now we have C07 here by Marmorlotti. This shortcut was found last year and this replay was done this year. So this is one of the newest shortcuts in the game. Again, another uh, crazy one. It is uh, 
pretty spectacular. It goes from the first checkpoint to the third, then the second, and the finish. So here's the first checkpoint, and now he has to do a very hard bounce to reach that one road. You can see it up here. He's just going to hit the dirt fence, barely land on the road, and the amount of speed he keeps here is incredible. He's now going to go around this turn, bounce another road border, and then bounce over this final dirt border to fly into the finish, saving only a second. Uh, and he probably spent about 50 hours doing that. We have two more replays to show. This is C09, and then we're going to end it off with C14. Hopefully we're still in time for this. C09 here, this is by Nock. He's going to jump out here right off the start of the track. And what he's going to do is he's now going to bounce on this scenery right here, the pipe. Get this checkpoint. This is the second checkpoint on the track. Because on this map, as with many others, taking another order of the checkpoints is faster. He's then going to keep as much speed as he can here and intentionally hit the wall to reduce the speed so that he can perfectly land before this checkpoint. Keep the speed that he had and now cruise into the finish. And we're going to end it off with what in my opinion is the most spectacular shortcut that's been done in the game. And that is C14 by Hefest again. So this track, ladies and gentlemen, it has many shortcuts. I tried one of them, which is fairly safe for a live marathon. Hefest here, he's going to do a different one. The shortcut takes place on lap number three. So we're going to skip to lap number three. And basically, uh, the bug that I showed earlier with Hefest on the other map, Flying, was found out to be possible on this track too. So many people from the community got together, we played it on a, a, an online server, and just after two hours, Hefest was able to do this right here. And it's, it's just, it leaves you speechless, you know? What can you say to this? How? Uh, this is like a one in a million replay. It happened after two hours just playing on a server after we found it and Well, it, it's it's just a work of art here Land sideways gets the slide gets the bug the car goes flying And it just happens to be the perfect angle to drop into the finish saving three seconds So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the shortcut showcase. That is it for track mania. I hope you enjoyed the run I hope you enjoyed the short case uh, showcase and I hope you'll have a fantastic GDQ and week coming up with some speedruns. So thanks for, uh, for having me, GDQ. And I'll sign it off here. Have a good night, everybody. Virtual, that was such an amazing run. Thank you so much for showing that. And with that, that was so amazing. <laughs> Um, and with that, we have one more quick donation from Kiwi Basket, twenty dollars. That says "vroom," which is very applicable. And that brings an end to my host shift here with all of you tonight. We, just as a reminder, are only $10,660 away from the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Incentive. I saw what you all could do with the incentive for the Shortcut Showcase, so I believe that we will absolutely hit that. Thank you so much for everyone that's been here tonight. I hope you enjoyed the upcoming games. Up next, we're going to have Legend of Zelda. Twilight Princess HD and Kung Fu Fruit Cup will be joining as our host. So I'm going to go ahead and send it over to a Twitch ad. And I hope you all have an absolute wonderful rest of your day and night.
Hello, everyone. Welcome back to SGDQ 2020. I am Kung Fu Fruit Cup. You may have just heard me talking with Gymnast just a bit ago. Very, very excited for the upcoming run. That will be happening very soon. In the meantime, let's get in some donations. We have a uh, $5 donation from Spance28, who says, Thank you to all the runners and event organizers for making this happen during a very unique and complicated summer. Let's get Spance to be the Twilight Princess file name. We also have a $5 donation from Neil65, who says, $5 train, hi uh, $5 hype train, Mario Kart hype. We have a $25 donation from Strata Gemini, who says, Mario Kart, best game, needs to be unlocked. We have a $5 anonymous donation. Every haiku read, chat has to count syllables. Mario Kart hype! <laughs> we have a $20 donation from Wretched Egg, who says, good luck to all runners. All right, we will be heading over to our main man sent to talk about some prizes. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whew. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2020 Online. I am, I'm so sorry, I, I barely got here in time. I had to run down to the office to pick up some stuff real quick, and uh, I almost didn't make it back in time. Those uh, skating and racing games actually finished so quickly. I had to run back here. I actually wasn't even able to stop for dinner. I was, I was going to get some food on the way home, and it, it just, it didn't happen. But that's okay, you know what, we, we can have prizes instead. Prizes are, are sustenance. Oh, uh. Mom, this is, this is a cookie. Uh, awesome. I, I didn't think we got uh, the, the pre-baked ones. Did you just pop this in the oven for me? That, that was really sweet. No, it's homemade. You, 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 ba you baked a cookie? I baked cookies. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to set this over here real quick. Are, are you okay? You sure you're not, you sure you're not sick? That, that, that's, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Let's talk about some prizes first. <laughs> then we'll get to the cookie. Prizes like this amazing Last Guardian vinyl sent to us by our friends over at I Am 8-Bit. Um, I mean... Last Guardian, great soundtrack. If you don't know what to expect from the soundtrack, it's the third game in the kind of unofficial uh, Echo trilogy. You know, you have Echo, then you have uh, Shadow of the Colossus, and then years and years later, it took forever to come out, but we finally got it, The Last Guardian. The music in all three games is just beautiful and wonderful. Highly recommend listening to this soundtrack, especially if you can get it on vinyl, like here from our friends at I Am 8-Bit. It's a $10 minimum donation, and again, it's from now until the end of that upcoming Twilight Princess run, so make sure to get your donations in as soon as you can. Now, also for a $10 donation between now and the end of that Twilight Princess run, we have this beautiful print of a Beatles heart piece shop. Don't leave home without one. Everyone needs a little love. Everyone needs a little piece of heart. And that's true. You can get it here with uh, this beautiful beetle shot print from our friend Geek Killa. Thank you so much, Geek Killa, for sending this in. I love it. The artistry is great on it. And again, $10 minimum donation. Make sure to get those donations in. But you got to get them in before the end of Twilight Princess. That's what I'm talking about. Now, for a $15 minimum donation, we have uh, some other beautiful stuff. We have this lovely uh, Zora cross stitch reminding us all to please wash your hands. <laughs> Everyone, please wash your hands. The Zora is asking for it. It comes to us from the uh, Magnolia chapter of the Embroidery Guild of America, which is super cool. Um, they actually knitted this last year for SGDQ, but couldn't get it finished in time. And as it turns out, it's just even more topical today. It's super well done. I love it. Uh, $15 minimum donation again from now until the end of Twilight Princess. Make sure to get some donations in for it. It's it's great. Uh, now, from our friend Itazon, we have some beautiful Dragon Quest acrylics. We have this uh, standee of the hero of Dragon Quest XI, uh, in addition to some beautiful keychains that come along with it uh, of, his, of his companions, you know, some monster companions here. We, of course, have the iconic Dragon Quest slime, uh, as well as the legendary hero sword, you know. Uh, and all three of those keychains come with this acrylic standee. It's a $15 minimum donation for the whole set. Uh, Itazan's acrylic work is just it's beautiful i i love it so much you should love it too again 15 dollars minimum donation for it now uh for a 20 dollars minimum donation we have a very cool headset the uh gsp 370 this is sent to us by epos 
super, super cool wireless headset there. It's got 100 hours of battery life. It's got noise canceling microphone on it. It's got great sound quality, Sennheiser sound quality, even with exceptional bass performance and some acoustic clarity. The specs on this thing are great. I think it normally retails for about like 200, 250 or something like that. You could win one of them and we have several of them to give away for only a $20 minimum donation. So here's what I'm saying. Sometime before the end of Twilight Princess, get in a $20 donation because you're gonna get entered for everything we just talked about. In addition to that, you're also going to be 10% of the way towards getting an entry in our grand prize, which is a custom replica from our friends over at Heroic Replicas. You can head over to the tracker to see all the different options and associated pictures that you can pick if you are the winner. There's so much cool stuff. You can get a Hylian shield. You can get a Master Sword, uh, Link or Dark Link variant. You can get the Great uh, Fairy Sword from Majora's Mask. It is spectacular. You really need to go see the picture of that. And it's $200 cumulative donation throughout the marathon. So again, $20 before the end of Twilight Princess gets you entered to win everything I just talked about. Gets you 10% of the way towards getting that throughout the marathon. And you know what? It's also just a $20 donation to Doctors Without Borders, to Médecins Sans Frontières. You know, an organization with international humanitarian reach. That should be good enough on its own, frankly. But there's also some wonderful prizes. Now, Bill, excuse me. I'm going to tentatively... Oh. That's actually really good. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna actually finish this cookie. Uh, why don't we throw it back up to the front as we get ready for for Twilight Princess? Mm, cookie. Okay. Cool.